Hey guys, so this video I wanted to do something a little different. My last two videos have been very faith focused and very God centered. We get it, you like Jesus. So I kind of wanted to do a different video showing that other side of me. Yes, I am a spiritual person and God is such a big part of me and will be such a big part of this channel, but I also have a personality in so many different parts of me and I really thought it would be a good idea to kind of share that other side with you guys. So yeah, we are going to do the get to know me challenge. So hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will feel like you have a better sense of who I am and will not be scared off. When you're not working, how do you like to spend your time? So I don't want to be cliche and say I spend my time with friends because I don't have friends. <laughs> Yes, I do hang out with friends, but I also love to write poems, songs, raps, whatever you want me to write. I will write whatever I'm feeling in that day, in that hour. And I also like to make music. I have GarageBand and I'm obsessed with it and I love to kind of take the songs that I've written and bring them to life through that GarageBand app and produce my own songs. No one's really heard my music and I don't know if anyone really will because, um, Yikes. Maybe one day, who knows, I will share it with the rest of you and with the world. Probably not, but you know, nothing's impossible with God, so. Where do you hope to visit in the future? The first one is New York City. I'm just obsessed with culture and it's just such an American city. The lights and the stars and like, it's just so intriguing to me and I would love to go there. My second place would be the Holy Land. Of course, because Jesus, right? I really feel like just visiting there would just connect me to God on such a deeper level. It's something I need to do before I die. Like, I have to go. The third one is Disney World. I have actually been to Disney World before, but I was little when I went. I don't know if it's just me, but I can never, I don't remember much from my childhood. And so I don't remember Disney World. And I don't, like, it's very vague. And I was also afraid of roller coasters and rides and of Mickey Mouse. So I need to go back and avenge myself. I need to hug Mickey. So if any of y'all want to in the link below, um, Venmo me the money to go to either or all three of these places. Um, please be a good Christian and do so. What's your dream job? As of recent, I've just felt very called to ministry and that's really what I want to dedicate my life to. And my dream job would just be traveling the world, just ministering to as many people as I can, wherever they may be. Specifically, I would like to minister to people who are battling same-sex attraction as well. Um, within the Christian community, but it's all in God's will. So I'm just gonna trust that he's going to do with me what he wants to do. What is one thing you're excited about that's coming up in 2019? I am so excited to finally be going to a university. I've been at my community college in my hometown for the past two years since high school ended, and I am so ready to leave and so ready to move out and just start my own life. I love you, mom and dad. I've already applied to my schools of choice so hopefully soon you all will hear back on that if you had to eat one thing for every meal going forward what would you eat chicken need i say more grilled fried raw <laughs> if you want to know the way to my heart it is jesus and chicken what's the first career you dreamed of having as a kid i always dreamed to be an artist when i was a kid i don't know why i'm just a very creative person i guess and i used to love painting and drawing that was my outlet looking at my drawings now you can clearly see that the universe had other plans for me so what's the last text you sent well First, I will have to go and delete my messages. <laughs> the last text I sent was to my best friend, and I was playing her back in Dots and Boxes. It's a game through iMessage, and she's beating me this round, and I honestly am pissed, so. What is one thing about you that surprises people? That I'm Puerto Rican. Literally, nobody can guess that I'm Puerto Rican. Everyone thinks I'm white, or Italian, or some other ethnicity. And I don't know if this is racially incorrect. I think I look decently Hispanic, I don't know. I'm full blood Puerto Rican on both parents' sides. It is so irritating because I'm so proud of my Puerto Rican, like, backgrounds and everyone's like oh my gosh you're Puerto Rican I thought you were white honestly I'm triggered so <laughs> if you could instantly become an expert in something what would it be singing you can ask anyone who knows me I will walk around the house the grocery store anywhere I can go and I will be singing belting whatever song is on my heart or on my mind in that moment I know like Christina Aguilera but I'm kind of I think I can decently sing if I could sing 
Grammys would be coming my way, honestly. What qualities do you value in the people with whom you spend time? There's two things I value. Okay, so I value honesty. I love honest people. I think it's because I just have, I used to always surround myself with very um, fake, lost individuals. And so I just really treasure honest people who just are honest with me and honest with themselves and just tell me how it is. And then I also love humorous people. I have a very dark, twisted, sarcastic sense of humor and if you share that with me, we will bond like the stars. Oh my gosh, the people can play off my jokes and keep, the, keep it running. You give me life, you know who you are. If you can invite three people, dead or alive, to a dinner party, who would they be and why? Lady Gaga, because She's Lady Gaga. Um, Jesus. I know I'm talking about him again, I'm sorry. I can't wait till the day I can meet him. And I just have so many questions and so many things I want to ask him and talk to him about. To just see him and like touch him and like talk to him and like, uh. The third person would be my doppelganger. I don't know where I read it, but I heard that we have at least one somewhere in the world. And I would love to meet him and critique him and just really validate to him that I am the better looking one, so. <laughs> Plus that would be such an interesting dinner, like Lady Gaga, Jesus, and my twin. Like that's, honestly, should be a TV show. If you had to choose only three adjectives to describe yourself, which would you choose? Loud, colorful, Gemini. If you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with the extra time? That's just not possible because I don't really sleep anyways. Even though I love sleep, I don't sleep. So I would sleep. <laughs> I would also binge watch YouTube. Recently I've become very obsessed with the band Cimarelli. If you don't know who they are, they are this acapella sister group. And I literally will watch their videos for hours. I could do that all night long. They just are so funny and so cool to me. And then also recently I've been very into dog videos. I don't know why. I honestly have so many issues and this video has really made me realize how messed up I am. If you could have one do-over in your life, what would you do differently? Definitely letting so many different people from my past treating me wrong and taking advantage of me. I didn't really let myself have a voice and now that I, you know, have self-love and have a voice, I would definitely go back because I definitely let a lot more people take advantage of me than I should have. We just got really deep. What is your favorite candle scent? Cupcake, sugar cookie. Honestly, the two greatest scents that God has ever placed into our universe. If we are at Walmart or at Home Goods and there is a candle that is cupcake or sugar cookie scented, I will smell it no matter how many people are looking at me. I don't know what it is. I have issues. <laughs> are you a dog or a cat person? Is that even a question? Do you have any birthmarks? I do actually. I have a birthmark. It is a black dot and it is on my lip. And we thought it was cancerous in my early childhood and I actually had to get it um, checked out by many doctors and it was very traumatizing. Thank you mom and dad. It is not cancerous, it is just a skin pigmentation and nobody really notices it unless they get up in my face. So thank you so much guys for watching. Um, for anyone who's new to my channel, um, please hit the subscribe button. I plan to make videos every week. Um, hit the like button, comment if you want to. I hope this video has definitely um, helped you to get to know me better. Hopefully you feel like we are better friends now. We have connected now more through this video. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. God bless.